Hey guys, I'm super excited to show you the new overlay track map. Um, you can find this overlay under the overlays menu and then the track map submenu. And uh, before we go ahead and have a detailed look of the overlay and all its settings, uh, I would just like to highlight the main features of the overlay so you can decide whether to watch this video or to use the overlay. You will see sometimes the cars going backwards for a split of a second. It's just because we have this uh, demo view and the data stream, the demo stream that sometimes just starts over. So don't pay too much attention on that. So coming back to the main features. Uh, the first of all, I would like to mention the turn numbers. Um, basically you get the turn numbers for all of the tracks available in iRacing. So you don't have to do anything. Uh, you just turn a switch on and you will get the turn numbers for the track. And this is especially useful because um, there's a lot of times I can remember and recall. Um, I would like to mention um, you know, a turn name with my, um, to my friends or my friends referring a turn name for me and I have no idea where it is. Um, and it's also super useful just to know where you are, that this is turn three that you're approaching at the moment, and you know, turn nine is this um, high speed right turner. It just gives a little bit of an extra for a track map to look at. And the next feature is the turn names. Now, we really went for the extra mile and we gathered all the turn names for all the tracks, and you have the option to turn them on. Again, it's super nice to use uh, or to see. If you're not good with turn names, turn this on. And uh, for a couple of days, uh, you know, for the race week, if you're using the track map, turn the and turn the turn numbers on or and the turn names on. Then after a few days, you will remember uh, them, and it just gives again just an extra spice for the track map. Um, Right, the next feature, uh, oh, sorry, before we go ahead, about the turn numbers and turn names, as you may know, not all the tracks have turn names. Um, and even the ones that have turn names, not all the turns have one, right? Um, so we really did collect all the turn names that is available. And uh, at the moment, we don't have 100% coverage on all tracks, but we are around 80% at the time of speaking and in just a couple of days or a few weeks we're gonna have everything for all the tracks but the majority of them is already covered the next biggest feature I, I would like to mention is if you have a look at these different colors on this track these lines that has different colors uh, this is basically different sector times it, it's marking whether you have your personal best or session best sector time. Now, if we have a look at this example, this is sector one from the start until this point, uh, and it's marked with a green light, uh, green color. And this basically means then when you reach this point and the track will highlight with green, or at least this particular sector will highlight with green, this will mean that you did your sector best. Uh, so the S1 sector that you just completed is the best you've done before in this session. If you have no color, that means you haven't done a better sector time than before. And purple obviously means that you've done the best sector time of that sector in your current session. So amongst all the cars, you've done the best and fastest sector, which is obviously what you want to aim for, right? And uh, it just, again, gives a really nice um, look at your sectors or where these sectors are. And it's just a way easier um, to kind of know where they are and how you perform on the track. And the next feature is the way you can customize yourself. Um, now we will go over it 
in the my car section but to put it in short you can really customize how you show up on the car giving you a, an easy way to spot yourself and the last one i would like to highlight is it's called friends um, you have an option to highlight your friends on the track if you have a look at number six here and number 15 those are the your friends in this demo stream um, and again we will go through it but you will be able to customize how your friend look basically you can do the almost the same thing as you can do it with yourself you can increase the size of your friends giving you an easier way to spot them if you compete with them then you can easily see where you guys are compared to each other so that's it for the summary <laughs> it's quite a long summary but, but hey there's a lot of features in this so if you like to watch the detailed view of it just go ahead and watch the full video uh, and now let's get into it okay so have a look at the general settings the general settings is quite similar to the other overlays uh, you can basically set uh, the font and the font weight which will change how the turn numbers and turn names and car numbers will look um, i'm not going to show it it's um, quite similar to the others and the background opacity for this overlay is basically the, the center of this track map so if i increase this you're going to see a, a lot darker option here but i'm going to just go back to where it was now the maximum overlay width is something that is a bit different compared to the others um, it's because we need these settings because not all the track maps have the same uh, width and height so you need to specify something um, and this basically gives you the option of how wide um, your track map will be um, you might set it high uh, for example this hundred uh, thousand hundred sixty but if you have a track that is very long like very high um, then you might not reach the maximum width but in, in general speaking you are most often going to reach the max width here than not Barcelona is a good example this probably has the full width and with this option you can basically tell the maximum size you want it to be nothing really more than that and I like to highlight one feature here the rendering FPS now <clears throat> almost all our settings have this question mark where you can just highlight where you just hover your mouse and you get a lot more additional information for the settings so please use it and uh, read them uh, I'm trying to cover most of them here but still I might be missing something so make sure you read it to understand it um, to a full extent now rendering FPS is something very important if you concerned about um, CPU consumption track map is something that will consume some of your CPU it's not a drastic uh, CPU usage but there is still something um, so if you want to decrease that you can decrease the FPS for the track map which will decrease the CPU usage but 25 or 30 FPS is in general speaking has a normal CPU, CPU consumption so nothing crazy but it's good to know for example if you're using vr you might be limited on cpu uh, try to set it to 5 or 10 or something and you will barely notice any performance drops while you're using this overlay now going to the track settings there is quite a few things you can toggle here first of all the sector data is something you can toggle on and off you see now you don't have this uh, green line uh, green line and the purple line here so you can actually turn that off the sector data always compares to something obviously and by default it compares to the session best so whatever was your best sector time it will compare it to but it's only on a scope of a session so it's not an all-time best it's just a session and if you look at the options we don't have more options at the moment obviously we will extend this um, sooner or later but for now 
to give a, a really good visibility of what this sector time compares to uh, you you can see here uh, the next thing is the track border um, this white border around the track you can toggle it on and off and also you can specify a different color if you want to have a red border for the track map you can also do that the track color can also be changed this is the dark color that you can see here if you turn this on and choose again a red one then you get your red track color but i do not want to do that so i'm gonna turn that off um, now the start and finish line is something it's like a marker that you can also toggle to show or not and you can also choose a color of it if you wish um, next one is the track line width obviously you can change how thick this track line can be if i lower it you will see that it's much thinner and this will be the highest one you might increase the maximum width of the track but at the moment this is the maximum width you can get and the start uh, finish uh, line size so this marker here you can also change how big it is okay so next thing is the turn settings now the turn settings is quite simple you either turn the turn numbers on or off or turn the turn names on and off obviously if you turn them off it's not going to show um, and you also have the option to set its size so if you want to have something small then you can have these small turn numbers or you, if you want to have the biggest turn numbers you can also just crank this up the default is 28 you can also choose a different color for the turn numbers background and uh, the number colors you can change it over these settings and going to the cars settings car settings is something that you can change for all the other cars so it's not about you it's for all the other cars well actually the size so you can change the car size the car size will actually also affect you um, let me show you why so you can choose to have something small or you know if you want to go crazy you can also have the these big um, car size or car sizes but in general I think it's, it was 28 if I remember or 24 maybe um, so you can play with it you can also choose what these uh, car numbers show so at the moment it's showing the car position so I'm on P12 um, P1 is right behind me from a different class because it has a different color obviously the colors means car classes and you have an option to choose car number over car position so if I want to see car numbers instead of positions you can also do that so you can see I'm car number 30 so you can see 30 on my node on my car and yeah that's basically what you have the options for uh, for all the cars now let's get into the my car section so my car is obviously settings regarding your car which is here and uh, the 12 number over here on the demo view and what you can do here is you can highlight yourself which is by default on or if you choose not to highlight yourself that means you won't have this highlighted border around you uh, obviously if you turn it on you can also change the color of it which is white by default and you can also override your car color now this is default uh, it's off by default because the car class is also um, represented on your car so this a reddish color here or pink however you call it is also referring to your car class so you can see the other cars and you know that they are within the same car class but if you can if you want to show a different color you can also do that and you can see now I'm white because it's white um, by default 
And what you can also do is you can change the border size around your car. So you can choose something really thick um, or you can just go something thinner. And also you can change how big your car is. So if you go to zero size, it just means your car will be the same size as all the other cars. Uh, but you can also crank this up to something really big. Um, so it's easier to spot for you. And we have quite a big of a scale here. So it's really up to you where you're going to end up with. Uh, for me, it's uh, the seven is something and optimal. It's not too disturbing and don't stand out too much. Um, yeah, but it's basically all the settings you can do with your car. Now heading over to the My Friend section, which is um, something really interesting and exciting because, well, you didn't have this option before, I think, uh, anywhere else. So what you can do here is you can customize the look of the friend's car. And these options are exactly the same as it was in the My Car section. So I'm not going to over it again, but basically, you know, you can do exactly the same thing. So if I want to have my friends to be as the same size as me, I'm just going to crank it up to this level. Right. And the way you actually tell Racelab who your friends are is highlighted in this section here. So you can set up your friends list if you click on this link. Now, if I click on this link, it's going to bring me to the settings menu and in the settings menu, you have this friends tab. And as you can see, I have some friends here that I've added and you can also add more by searching by its name or by its iRacing ID. And then it will add it to this list. And then if we go back to the track map, my friends will be then showing on the track, as you can see, it's basically that simple. And the last section is streaming info. Uh, this basically gives you a URL that you can copy into your OBS as a browser source if you want to show the track map for your viewers. And you also have the option to align it to the left or to the right. So in overlay mode, it's not very important, but in, in OBS or a browser source, you might want to align it to one way or to another, or also if you um, put it in the layout editor, then you, depending on where you place the overlay, you might want to align it to a specific corner or side. And that's basically it, guys. Uh, I hope you find it uh, useful and I hope you find all the settings and all the new features interesting to use. Uh, please let me know what you think in the comments and see you guys later.